Um, so as you guys know, we were entering positions at the t this 10,400 level, um, with our targets being uh, 10,600 and 10,800 here. Um, so trades that we're looking at basically either back or here at this Fibonacci level, the 61.8% level, which is about 10,400. Um, then there's a minor support here at 10,600. So we've also entered trades using this support. This is a support you can you can definitely enter. Um, and then uh, the next trade that we're looking we're looking for is above 10,800. We're looking to enter trades above that on a breakout. So that'll be a breakout entry we have there. Um, that's basically it for now. So yeah, so 10,600 was where we were entering our trades. Um, 10,800 was our first target, which as you can see, we blasted through. Um, if you're looking to enter on a breakout, then the breakout entry is going to be above 11,200 or above this Fibonacci level, which is about 11,213-ish, 215-ish probably. This is the 38.2% Fibonacci level as we have spoken about a lot um, so those are the two trades I'm looking at um, if we break down below the support then the next support is going to be down here at the 10,800 level um, but the trades that we took this week we took uh, the breakout above 10,600 Took some profits at 10,800. That was here with the Fibonacci level. Took some profits at 11,000, and then now our next level is 11,200. What's up, family, and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. Man, it was a crazy end of the week last week, and a, a, a pretty wild weekend, um, as you guys will see. Um, and as you guys just saw last week, we spoke about these levels in almost all our videos. Um, hopefully you guys took these trades, man, because we definitely took these trades. Uh, we uh, signaled these trades in our trade group. Um, and I think we all made we all made some some pretty good money on this move. So let's go ahead and check it out. Today's market analysis here. Let's go ahead and move this over. Um, if you guys did not see those videos and did not get those trade alerts, guys, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, the follow button, um, and the like button. It really, really helps us out uh, growing this channel. Um, it costs zero dollars to follow us. Um, and we give out trade ideas. We put out trade ideas all the time, every single week, almost daily, really. Um, so please, guys, hit that follow. It helps us a ton. Uh, so let's just jump right in here to Bitcoin. As you guys can see here, we're now at eleven thousand five hundred dollars. If we drop, to, if we drop to the daily candles here, let's take a look at the dailies. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Green, 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 green. That's one, two, three, four, five, six days in a row of green, right? So. We might see a pullback at some point here. Uh, don't be surprised. Don't think it's the end of the world. Um, hold on. I want to. I want to go ahead and stretch this Fibonacci level. The Fibonacci levels out a little bit. They're locked, of course. Let me see if I can stretch it out without messing it up. Think about here. Let me see where is this. About here should be fine. Close enough, right? Let me lock that back up. All right, so um, so as you guys can see here, we have been very, very green, right? Um, we guys, we spoke about all these levels and all these trade ideas last week. If you, if you, if you guys look back on our videos, we told you guys we're entering trades long positions at ten thousand four hundred, which touched right here. This was a Fibonacci level, the 61.8% Fibonacci level, right? We told you guys we're entering breakout trades above 10,800. We also told you guys we're entering trades above 10,600. We we're using that as a breakout point and we were using that as a support point. So this was another entry we gave you guys here. 
told you guys we're entering at this Fibonacci level, which is a 50% level, plus the 10,800 level, right? So that was this point right here. We told you guys above this um, long-term ascending support slash resistance line, we're using this as a breakout entry, which also coincided with the 11,000 uh, resistance. Um, so that was another point of entry, right? Then we told you guys above 11,200 was another Fibonacci level. This is Fibonacci level, the 38.2% Fibonacci level. Um, so that was another point of entry, right? Um, and now uh, the last one, I don't know if we spoke about this one. This one we spoke about in our trade group, um, but 11,500 was our next one. Um, and then this Fibonacci level right here, which is 11,700 range. Uh, and then after that is 12K really. Um, so these are all levels we spoke about guys. We have been speaking these levels basically into existence, right? Um, over and over for the past few weeks, if maybe even months, um, while we've been watching all of this go on. So hopefully you guys have been following. Hopefully you guys have been able to make some money. Just by following these these trade ideas, you guys should be able to make some money pretty easily. Um, if you guys want the exact signals when we're taking them, um, you guys could always join our trade group in the link below. Um, but other than that, no, I'm not upgrading. Yeah, guys, it's 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 been pretty simple. Now here, um, what we're looking for here for new trade entries, um, we're using this 11,500 support here. So as long as that holds, you can enter as close to 11,500 as possible with your next target being 11,600, which it hit today, um, 11,700, which is the next Fibonacci level, and then 11,800. Those are your next three targets. Um, and then you want to basically buy back in on a break above 12,000. Um, so that's basically what we're doing right now. If we see pullbacks below 11,500, then we're looking at 11,200 for an entry. The first pullback entry, 11,000 the second pullback entry. All right, and then the last, the third pullback entry would be this Fibonacci level, which is 10,800. Um, so those are the, the entries for breakouts and supports that we're looking at here. Um, as you guys know, we are bullish on this. We are currently in trades on Bitcoin. Um, hopefully, you guys were able to get some of these trades that we put out over the last uh, week or so. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum's also taking off. Um, we told you guys 350 was the, the breakout for the entry. And here it is. Here's 350. Um, then we told you the next breakout would be 360. This is also your first target and there was a break right there. Boom. Then the next one was 380 and then 390. So here it is guys, just as we called it, it played out. We spoke about all these levels guys. Watch our previous videos. We've been speaking about these levels over and over. So now the next uh, breakout entry would be above 390, but because 400 is so close i'd rather just wait till 400 um or you could take this 390 breakout take profit at 400 um and then the next one would be would probably be like 410 your second level um but that's that's basically the plays right now on ethereum if you're looking for a pullback entry then you're probably looking for it to pull back to 360 um the second entry for that would be 350 so those are the breakout and pullback entries we're currently looking at um, Bitcoin cash kind of the same just kind of following here um, the we spoke about this level right here which was 320 so this was the entry right here 320 I mean 220 I'm sorry 220 was the entry here that you wanted to enter um, now th then the next level was around the 3 236 level I think we spoke about last time um, so it's, it looks like it's pulling back to back to that range um, for breakout entries here let's see yeah it looks like for some reason that that 240 number is the one popping up a lot so 240 could be a, a good entry support entry here with um, 
250 really being the main level you're looking for here as your first entry. Um, so 240 is a support entry and above 250 will be a breakout entry on Bitcoin Cash. If it breaks below this, then we're, we're waiting on 220 again. 220 to 200 is the next support entries on Bitcoin Cash. Um, Litecoin, Litecoin, same thing. We have six days, six green days in a row. Uh, we just finally hit that $50 mark. We just broke above it. So I told you guys, you know, above $50 is where I'm looking to enter. Um, as close to $50 as possible is that support entry. Um, and the breakout entry is probably above $52 here. Um, that, that would be your next uh, breakout entry and support entry. XRP, Ripple, also a nice one, two, three, four, five, six days of green. Um, we're currently at 25 cents. I think I, I spoke about that 25.50 mark here. So 25, as close to 25.50 as possible here. Um, for a support entry, next support entry is at 24.50. Um, and the breakout is above 26 cents. So those are the entries for Ripple. Um, Chainlink, we also have another six days of green here which is lovely um, we broke above that ten dollar mark I told you guys about over and over again right um, here was a break look at the break I just took off and now it's at 11.50 so um, entries here for support entry you're looking to enter as close to ten dollars as possible uh, for a breakout entry we're probably looking at levels right now probably above twelve dollars so above twelve dollars is the next breakout entry here for Chainlink. Um, those are the breakout and support entries I am looking at. Um, Tezos, beautiful, also uh, six days in a row of green, currently at 233, but we haven't really moved that much. You know, we went from $2 to 234 ish. Um, breakout entries I'm looking for, probably about above 235. Um, but I would just do it above this previous high right here, so to above 236. Um, support entries I'm looking at is 225 and 210 are the two support entries I'm looking at here for Tezos. Next, Neo. Neo finally got some life in it. Um, started bouncing back up here, bounced at that 1650 area that we talked about last time. Um, currently at 1825. If I'm looking for a breakout entry, I'm looking above 1850. Above 1850 for an entry. Support entries probably at 1750. So that's support and breakout entries I'm looking at. Um, as you guys can see here in Bitcoin futures, it did gap up. So we have to keep this in mind. We most likely will come back down to close this gap at some point. I think within the week um, so don't be surprised if we we go back down to the 11,200 level um, that's a level we need to keep in mind and we need to watch for because we did gap up we might come back to test this 11,200 level before taking off to 12k so um, that's what I think is a possibility in happening here um, so we would have to wait and see if that's what actually happens. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's look at Cardano. Cardano's also back up here. As you can see, we have pretty much a bull flag break here. Um, but we're still kind of at a double top right now. So we have to be a little careful here because it is a double top. We are retesting the same exact level where we got rejected last time. Um, so if I'm looking for an entry, I'm looking above 980 Satoshis here. Um, and if I'm looking for a support entry, I'm probably looking around 880, 880-ish, yeah. 880 to 850-ish. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much the roundup of everything we've seen uh, for this week. This, these are the levels I'm looking at right now for Bitcoin. These are the levels I'm looking at for Ethereum and all these other ones. Um, I'm looking for the breakout entries and the support entries basically for, for my trades right now. Um, that's pretty much it. 
guys make sure to follow please hit that follow button drop a comment tell us tell us what you like about this what you don't like uh, give us some ideas what you want to see maybe some coins you guys want us to go over and, and give you some trade ideas on uh, and we're just gonna keep on keep on pushing tomorrow we have another video as you guys know we do we try to drop five videos a week uh, Monday through Friday so uh, good luck guys let's make some money peace and love